is this uh, hacker no named uh, Guccifer. He's actually hacked into a lot of different accounts of famous people, including George W. Bush. He's the reason we saw all those goofy paintings uh, by Bush. Uh, but I, I'm actually not in favor of this. I'm a massive uh, fan of whistleblowers uh, like Edward Snowden, Bradley Manning, who let us know what our government is up to. This guy just lets us know what, who's painting what and who <laughs> Colin Powell might have had an affair with. Uh, and uh, nonetheless, everybody's uh, talking about what Colin Powell might or might not have done uh, with apparently a Romanian diplomat named Corina Crețu. So uh, he denies that uh, they have had an affair. He says, uh, this was a friendship that electronically became very personal and then back to normal, which is very amusing. It reminds me of the SNL skit. Uh, I was watching a porno and I got very, very excited and then all of a sudden I lost interest. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Our relationship got very, very heated and then it went back to normal, right? And so because of the hack, we know the emails that Colin Powell sent and that Kretsu sent and that Kretsu, as you're about to find out, sent some interesting emails, right? So that leads into the speculation. But Colin Powell has now had to write a letter in response saying, hey, listen, guys, I didn't have an affair. And he says, over time, the emails became of a, per of a very personal nature, but did not result in an affair. Those type of emails ended a few years ago. There was no affair then, and there is not one now. Uh, whereas the smoking gun, who uh, of course wrote about this, said would leave uh, the emails would leave most readers with a clear impression that the forlorn Kretsu is writing about the twilight of a romance. They go on to say Kretsu calls him the love of her life and describes a relationship that spanned more than a decade. So that's interesting and relevant. In fact, uh, one of the emails, November 14, 2011. Uh, so it's not that far in the past. Uh, she wrote, "I have loved you too much." too many years, you were my greatest love of my life. Wow. So, um, wow. uh, his response to that was, uh, once he found out that he had been hacked, quote, so uh, best to delete all between us. <laughs> <laughs> so please burn all the emails. Very technical way to end a relationship. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then another favorite line of mine from his letter, she sa he says, she sent photos on a regular basis. Lots of family photos with her nieces, who she adores, family reunions, formal business sessions, her wedding, and some bathing suit photos. <laughs> uh, never anything improper. Uh, so yes, she did send a, a shot in a bikini, she sent a shot in a hot tub, Do we but have nowhere that? in the emails does it say, uh, like what you did to me last night, I've never had done before, etc. So all right, first I of throw all, it to the jury. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I hate this stuff so much. Uh, whether he had an affair or not is not anyone's business. Let's just please, please move on. But I do believe that they had an affair. Whether it was physical or not is a different story, but it's a matter of how you define the word affair. So Colin Powell is defining the word affair as, you know, a physical one. So he's saying we never had, a, we never had an affair, there never was one, there won't be one. But clearly, when you are having these personal, very personal emails back and forth for a decade of 10 years, I do think that's a form of at least emotional affair. But here's the thing, what's wrong with it? I mean, is there anything really wrong with that? I mean, if, and people are gonna be outraged, like, oh, how can he do this? He's had a wife for 50 years. So what? So he loves his wife and everything is good, but he has this email affair with this woman who's much younger and they have something else. I mean, why, why does our society go so crazy now, about this? Because, hold now, on. Now your wife doesn't watch this show. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Yeah. No, no, here's the thing, okay? I mean, we have, a weird, weird double standard. Like, if, let's say I, I only want one friend. I don't want any other friends. I only love one friend, that's it. That's weird, right? Mm -hmm. You should have many friends, and you should love your friends, and there's nothing wrong with that. And if you have multiple, sure. you have multiple kids, <laughs> you, love, you have to love all your kids equally, but you can only love one woman for the rest of your life, ever, never. I mean, come on, it's crazy. Hey, well, has Guccifer hacked into your account? Oh. <laughs> like, what's going on here? My, my <laughs> laying the groundwork. Yeah, right. yeah, preemptive <laughs> strike there on that. You yes, were John. really affected by Sex at Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I don't, think, yeah. I don't think that Colin Powell should have responded at all to any of that. He should have said, you want me to answer your question about my personal email? I don't answer any of those questions. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I totally agree. And I, I have to confess, I feel slightly guilty for even covering the story. Yes. Uh, and, yes. you know, uh, partly I wanted to cover it so we can tell people to fuck off. Yeah. Right? Because, like, you, you know, everybody's going to cover it, like, and they're not going to give the perspective of, hey, wait a minute, 
is this a legitimate issue we should be discussing? I think that right. most people are just going to cover it like, this is what's happening, Colin Powell, did he, he have an affair with this Kretzu lady or not? And I'm, I'm with you, and it, you know, this affects government not at all, not one scintilla, right? So I think Colin Powell is totally within his rights to have a press conference or whatever he does or a statement that simply says, piss off. Yeah, first, it's, not, it's none of our business, yeah. number one. Secondly, um, whether he had an affair or not, doesn't matter. Thirdly, if he did, I don't care. And you know, it's between him and his wife. If they have issues, that's fine. But I mean, I don't want to judge him, and I don't think anyone else should judge him. It's fine. Yeah. No, I, I, I think it's uh, you know between them, no question. And then why am I going to get into the middle of their 50-year marriage and adjudicate who's right, who's wrong? Do you know what Alma's been doing for 50 years? I don't know. I don't want to know, right? right? If it's relevant to the government, then you're a whistleblower, and it's really, really, really important, right? If it's just relevant to sexual titillation or artistic titillation in Bush's case, leave it alone, man.